Hello everyone, this is Riku Keyblade Master. Um, now, this is what I don't understand. Some news outlets are saying that they did um, agree to the economic stimulus and it is on the way to the president's desk. And then some news outlets are saying, no, the bill, there's some last minute um, revisions that we have to make with this thing. It's just like, dude, already, please, make up your mind, get it to the president's desk. Again, stop acting like immature children, like I told you to yesterday and the day before, and the day before that. I mean, seriously. I've been insisting for four days in a row that these guys stop acting like immature children and you would think that they would get the message by now that we need this bill. Bernie Sanders just said we need this bill to go forward and disagreeing with Trump's decision to open up the economy by Easter, which I also disagree with that decision. Right now, we need to be social distancing. We need to be, dare I say it, we need to be quarantined. Um, <clears throat> now, some people are, some people may argue, well, that's because you're used to being isolated and quarantined. Well, yes, you got me there. But that's mainly because of the fact that I have a multitude of different disabilities that the rest of the world does not understand. And I have been criticized and ridiculed for years over them. So, yes, I am used to isolating and quarantine because it's not a choice I made. Although it is a choice that, you know, I didn't make the choice, but my disabilities made the choice. My conscience, my little Jiminy Cricket made the choice. And sometimes it takes over and I don't even know about it. You know, sometimes my conscience will take over without me even knowing. And... Can that be dangerous? Yes. But here's the thing. Another thing that is true too is that another reason why I'm saying that we need to stay isolated and quarantined um, is also out of protection. You guys know me. I really wouldn't forgive myself if something happened to either one of you. I would not forgive myself if I told you guys the same thing Trump's saying. You know, go out uh, on Easter, do whatever is normal, whatever. In other words, I would never forgive myself if I said that and... So many people got hurt just because of the recommendation, which has already happened with Trump several times. He's already got enough blood on his hands. And just this morning, I called my mom to check up on her to make sure she was okay. And she gets this thing over the scanner that we got our first case in Clinton, Iowa, where I live. We got our first case in my in my city and state. Literally, I don't know. Um, and what's worse is, I don't know if the person's a minor or elderly. I think they said he was a minor. I think they said it was a minor. It wasn't identified whether it was a male or a female. All I know is, is that a minor was picked up 
by ambulance and tested positive for the coronavirus. So I told my mom, I said, damn, I hope like hell no one gets it. And then just last night, another piece of news I was told was last night, we lost an elderly resident. She, um, I don't know how old she was. My mom doesn't know how old she was. We just know that she died last night. And, um, I, I automatically was like, oh my God, oh my God, please tell me it was not the coronavirus. And right off the bat, I'm already going to assume flat out. I was like, I told my mom, I said, let's just assume that anybody who just dies in this period of time, let's just assume that they all had the virus. I mean, my grandma told me something really disgusting that makes me not want to put on arm deodorant again. Okay? This minor goes around claiming he had the coronavirus and he licked a bunch of uh, deodorant sticks. He licked the outside of a bunch of deodorant sticks and he got caught doing it and sources claim he got arrested. He went to jail. I wouldn't be surprised though if he did get tested for the coronavirus. Likely he did it because of the fact that, you know, he kept telling people that he had it and no one believed him. D again, due to what the president said. And no one believed him. So, he was like, okay, you know what? You don't believe me? I'm going to do something to make you guys get it yourselves. You guys should have believed me. My guess is that when he got arrested, he got tested, and I'm going to assume that he was positive because um, because that there's a lot. It's it's going around. You know, it's even in the air. And, like, honestly, I'm just like, damn. But, yeah, um, the, the bill, they need to make up their mind about it. It needs to be signed now. I mean, for fuck's sake. You've already endangered enough lives. A couple of your senators uh, died. Um, Rand Paul is still in quarantine as far as I know. Um, Nancy Pelosi, or not Nancy Pelosi, uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez um, is like, you know... You guys really, really, really need to come back so we can vote on this bill. You know, the ones that are in quarantine right now and self-isolation. Um, you guys need to come back so we can set, send this bill, you know, on its way. And, you know, she's only doing, she's only, she only wants them to come back because... Nancy Pelosi even said, if they vote by video chat, it wouldn't look good for the nation. Which is stupid because look at all the debates that had to be held. Look at all the rallies that had to be held by video conference and makeshift offices. You know, so why would this be any different, Nancy Pelosi? I mean, I'm not even, I'm not even joking. I don't think sending them here right now would be a good idea. I think that she 
Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. I don't think it was her decision. I think that she is acting on behalf of House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, who said that if they vote by teleconference or video conference, it would not look good for the nation. Which, again, how is that different from holding rallies t by teleconference or video conference? You know, how's that different from that? Seriously, y'all need to get your priorities straight. Get this bill to Trump's desk so he can sign it into law ASAP. Like I said, I'm not scared to come down to D.C. and make the decision for you. If I wasn't disabled, like I said, if I wasn't disabled, if I had a way to go down there, I would go down there and help you guys make the decision. I mean, come on. I just, what, what the hell? You know? Just, just make the decision already. Get it signed into law and then just move on. <sighs> Sorry about my ranting and raving, guys. I just, I just cannot stand this, this isolation as somebody who's used to isolating and quarantine um, for other reasons due to her disability, even, even, this is even driving me fucking nuts. Now you all know what it's like to live in my brain. So until next time, I've been Riku Keyblade Master. Comment, rate, subscribe, and stay awesome as usual. If I find out any more news, I will try my best to keep you guys updated as soon as possible.